Yo, what is up everybody? It's Raging Dusty here and welcome back to another video. We're finally here with the iPad Pro review, but I got a few things to talk about. So, I've got a new upload schedule. Every Monday is going to be guaranteed a video. Any video days after that is unknown and I will be streaming every Friday, just to let you guys know. The next thing is the S22 devices have all been announced. I have a Galaxy device right here. I got the Z Fold 3. Let me just go ahead and go to the... Hold on a second. Let me just go to the um, Shop Samsung app. And I will show you proof that I did actually, in fact, order a Galaxy S22 Ultra. This thing loads. There it is. I did, in fact, order a Galaxy S22 Ultra. And I am trading in my Galaxy Note, unfortunately. I really didn't want to trade in a Galaxy Note. But my card, for some reason, does not want to allow me to buy the device without trading in the device. So, there you guys go. I got S22 Ultra, 256GB, unlocked. And I'm not going to tell you guys the color. You guys are going to have to wait till that video comes out. But we're not here for that. We're here to talk about the iPad Pro. So this device right here. I've got some I've got some things to talk about. Now I I decided to upgrade from a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I have a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Holy cow. Right here. As you guys can see. And I'm going to be talking a lot about Tab S7 Plus as well as the iPad Pro in this video. So I'm going to leave the Tab S7 Plus right there. But the iPad Pro, the mini LED display. All right, detect my face. Where's the face ID? There it is. Um, this display. Look at how bright this display gets. This display gets super bright. It's also nice, colorful, very fluid, 120 hertz. I love the 120 hertz, just like this Tab S7 Plus right here. I have adaptive brightness on. So, yeah. Now, as for watching YouTube content, this is this is the biggest down, downfall, in my opinion, of this device. The aspect ratio... The 5x3 or 4x3, whatever the aspect ratio is. When you're watching a video, your video is going to look like this. You got these beefy black bars. Whereas if I load the same video on the Galaxy Tab, which also has a fingerprint sensor, by the way. This tablet does not. You load the same video on the Galaxy Tab. Let me just go to... My videos or well, the exact same video on the Galaxy Tab. The black bars are not as significant. And also, you can zoom to fill the entire display. Whereas, you cannot do that on the iPad Pro. So, that's already one downside. One thing I don't like about the iPad Pro... The next thing I don't like about the iPad Pro is how hard it is to just take it anywhere. The, the device is so big, it's really hard to take anywhere, but honestly, I don't really care about taking it too many places. I do have cellular data, which as you guys... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, that's not what I want. As you guys can see right here, I do have cellular data... And I also am using a VPN. But uh, I do have cellular data. Let me close YouTube real quick. And this device, it's not the most portable device in the world. But it does get the job done. It works. And yeah. The next thing that I don't like about the iPad, and this is the last thing that I don't like. That's the camera. The camera on this iPad. I did take 
a couple shots with it. I got to, I did take a picture of Oakley. Let me see. All right, I did. Oh, I'm trying to think. Are these from? Actually, these might not. Actually, no. These are from my iPhone. Let me see. If I can find a. Uh, oh, I found a picture. This is my girlfriend right here. So, the picture looks all right, but honestly, the camera could be better. It's not not that great. But yeah. Oh, and also, there is one more thing I don't like. I do not like the fact that the Face ID module is on the side of the iPad and not, like... It should honestly be, like, right here or right here. It should not be on the sides. Which, honestly, where is the Face ID on this tablet? Oh, it's right here. The Face ID should not be right here. It should be right here or right here. And, yeah. That is something that the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus does a better job at. It doesn't have Face ID, but it does have the camera right here. Right at the top of the bezel. That's it for comparisons between the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and the iPad Pro. Now, which one do I prefer more? Do I prefer the Galaxy Tab or the iPad? In my opinion... I personally prefer the Galaxy Tab just slightly more. However, the speakers, the speakers on this tablet. Oh, man, they blew me away. The speakers on this tablet, they get so loud. I've literally, I've jump scared my girlfriend countless amount of times just, just with the speakers of this tablet. Like, let me, let me play a video. I'll play one of my videos. Uh, go, we'll go to... I don't know. We'll go to... What's a, what's a decent video? iPhone 12 mini review, I guess. Yo, what is up? Hold on. Let me turn that turn the video up. Where's my volume? Oh, it's right here. All right, there we go. Everybody, it's Raging Dusty here. And today, speakers, we are finally dude. doing the review on this guy right here. The, the speakers on this tablet. Oh, man. They absolutely blew me away. They're so loud. They are just so loud. I also got some comments on this video. Also, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I'm going to continue to do as good of content as I can. However, I am pretty busy. I am a pretty busy guy. I do have a job where I work night shift in a sawmill. And I deal with a whole bunch of boards and stuff. I can't really explain about the job because I don't want to get in trouble with work. I've already gotten in trouble with work for doing the BS at Work series. So, yeah. And I don't want to do that again. So, I'd like to keep my job for now. Just saying. But the speakers on this tablet, they absolutely blew me away. And thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I'm going to keep up the good work. I'm going to try to produce as quality of content as I can. Given the situation that I have. I am really busy. I have a girlfriend. I have a job. I have stuff that I do on weekends. It's really hard to film videos with how busy I am. And I just want to thank you guys for supporting me. And I'm going to continue to do as best as I can to make good content for you guys. So yeah. With that out of the way. If you guys are wondering which storage variant I did get. Let me just swipe this up. All right, let's go to, hold on. Let me see if I can find the storage. Let me go, oh, iPad storage. There we go. 512 gigabytes. Now, you're probably all thinking, oh, well, that that's that's not, uh, you're not going to use all that storage. Well, last time on my Galaxy Tab, I had 256 gigs of storage. And where is the storage thing? Battery and device care. I used all my storage, so I do need 512 gigabytes of storage on my tablet, because I do use my tablet to download content. I download a lot of content on my tablet, and yeah. The next thing, the display on this tablet, it's good. I like the tablet's display. Nice and colorful. It actually is a, 
a slight bit more colorful than this tablet, but but I do personally prefer this tablet because of the 16 by 10 aspect ratio and the color differences between this and this are not even close to enough to me even consider considering making this my favorite tablet. I still prefer this one. I like watching content on this one. I also like watching content on this one. It's just the black bars are crazy. I do not like the black bars. But, yeah. Another thing that I do like about this tablet. iMessage. iMessage. I love iMessage. We got all my friends right here who have iPhones. And, yeah. Now, I can't show you the messages from Joey as I... As, um... Yeah. It is Joey. And... Joey's crazy with his messages. So, I'm not going to show you any of the messages. But, yeah. I do like iMessage. We got all the Apple apps. We got the camera. The front-facing camera. The front-facing camera. The front-facing camera, as you guys can see. Not that great. It does get your Zoom calls done very well. I do have the iPhone 13 Pro, as you guys can see. It does get your Zoom calls done. I don't use Zoom, so it's kind of useless, but it is what it is. Got a couple games on here. Got my VPN, got HBO Max, because HBO Max is free with my AT&T plan, so that's nice. I have YouTube Music, because I do listen to music on my tablet sometimes. I do also use Apple Music occasionally. Got a couple games like Call of Duty, which I can play at 120 FPS on this tablet, which is nice. Fruit Ninja, Balloon City 6, Car X Valley, Real Racing 3. Just a whole bunch of games. They're all pretty cool. The gaming experience on this tablet is really good. I do like the gaming experience on this tablet. That M1 chip inside this tablet, really good. Now, I did forget to mention there is one more thing that I don't like. And that's the price of this tablet. The specific one that I bought is $1,600, and the starting price is $1,100. Is it worth $1,100 for the base starting price? I would say it's okay. It's a high-end tablet. There is also the new Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, which I do plan on getting at some point. This is the same price as it if you buy the base model. However, my variant came up to $1,600. Which is a yikes for price. But it is what it is. Also, I am shaking the camera. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah. And this iPad is just great. I do like the face unlock. I do like the fact that it does have face unlock. And it works. It's the best face unlock in the game. All I gotta do. If I can turn this on. Turn on the tablet. Look at it. Boom. Unlocked. Just like that. I love Face Unlock. Face Unlock is amazing on this tablet. Watching content, amazing on this tablet. If you can ignore the black bars. I don't like the black bars, but it is all right, it is all right to deal with. It's not the worst thing in the world. But, yeah. Honestly, is this tablet worth it? I'd say, yeah. If you're... Especially if you're going to plan on buying the Apple Pencil and you're like a pro creator, you do a whole bunch of editing, and you want a nice big canvas to use your Apple Pencil with, and to do editing and all that stuff, this will be perfect for you. However, I suspect the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is also going to be great for that too. But yeah. And... That's all I got for you guys today. The iPad Pro is worth it, in my opinion. I do think the iPad Pro is worth it. If you are willing to shell out that much money, $1,100 starting price, if you're willing to get just the Wi-Fi, this is worth it. This tablet is, in fact, worth it if you're going to do that. But if you're just going to buy this tablet for content consumption only... I'd say pass on this one and go and get like a Galaxy Tab as an example. Or even an iPad Mini. Or even the 11th 
the 11 inch uh, iPad Pro. But um, if you're just going to watch content on this device, I would say pass on it because of the black bars. But if you're willing to take the black bars, the content viewing experience is pretty good on this tablet. As for if you are looking for a tablet that costs less than $1,000 or you're looking for a mid-range tablet, skip this tablet. This tablet is way out of your budget range. You can easily find like a Galaxy Tab S7 FE or Lenovo Tab P12, something like that for around that budget range. Do not buy this tablet if you are that poor. Please don't. You're going to be hurting if you do that. And I don't I don't want anybody to have like a struggle with their life. But as for me, I'm a tech enthusiast. I love tech. The iPad Pro is great. So yeah. Until the next video, guys. Have a good one.